Villa de Tuga to be precise. We're coming to meet one of the mothers. I'm waiting for her to share her story because this is one that everybody can take a thing or two from. Okay, so like I said, Villa de Tuga. Let's meet. Hello. Oh, my first time meeting yeah, really you. Beautiful. Really, you are beautiful Thanks. too. Thank you. I'm Thank grateful you. to meet you for the first time. <laughs> Thanks for having us as well. Welcome to Villa de Tura. Thank you so much. <laughs> you look good. I like Thank your you. Outfit. I didn't Holy know you were going to wear Africa with like a You would have been. Oh. <laughs> You're so welcome. You're welcome here. Yeah. I've been looking forward to meet you, That's you know. So, <laughs> so when I realized that it's you that I'm going to meet today, I said, hey, Mommy, for me, who can cry? <laughs> My sweetheart is coming. My role model that I've been looking for. Hey, it's true. You are. You are. You are. You are. You are. You are one of the celebrities, um, news. Um, my English is no good. That's fine. Me. News TV presenters, the presenters uh -huh. that you don't hear anything about. Yeah. But you are still going. I say, oh God, I want positive energy like this. <laughs> my polo. You do know if my I do. Keep it positive. Do you yeah, know if I, I do positive, it doesn't go. I, I heard so. But if I do negative, negative, pe, boom. I want to gone. be like you. Oh. Oh, please, you people, please push my positive. <laughs> Let me be like my beautiful sister. Please push Polo's positive. We beg. We beg. Okay. All right. But we're here. Um, we're going to have a good conversation. Let me feel at home, please. It's really important. Really, really important. Okay. Hi. In fact, let me let me let me, let me join. Oh, give me please. Yes, let me Make give me comfortable. You. Comfortable, please. please. Comfortable. Let me welcome you in my home small. With that. Yes. With that. With that. Yes. Yes. All right. So we've been um, speaking to so far. I mean, for the past few minutes, we've been speaking to Hania Rosemond Alade Brown. We're having a conversation about you know her origins when she said that she's from Togo, but. I was also saying to her that maybe she should check. Maybe she has like some Nigerian <laughs> origins only because of Yemi Aladi, you know. So yeah, um, Polo, thanks again for welcoming us here. You're we welcome. really appreciate it. Thanks for your time, taking off, you know, time um, to have this conversation with me. I really, really appreciate You're it. You're welcome. I can't even look into your eyes. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, okay, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great ple pleasure. pleasure. An honor to meet you in person. Like, see how I respond is making me feel. My head just go bust. My head bust. That be all. It can't be that. But yeah, um, would would want to you know speak on motherhood. I think that you've done a really really good job. You know, mothering um, a ten year old. He's soon to be eleven. Yes, right? please. Yes, and that is is a nice thing to do. Also considering that you started really really young, young right yes. so let's let's start from you know your realization that okay. um you were pregnant how was the feeling for you because at the time you must have been in your early 20s to yeah. um, 24 yeah if, if i'm right yeah you, you are reading me <laughs> <laughs> you are reading me. okay so i i quite remember i got pregnant first and um i had miscarriage because i i celebrated my birthday party and i took wine so my baby papa was angry he thought maybe i have touched it yeah so the second one came again just after two months the first one for and that one there he was smart he he, he told the mother they came to suhu to do the knocking and did everything and took the list that after um, i give birth they will add everything like the marriage and then the naming ceremony mm -hmm. so i was so happy he showed me love even since we were dating because i knew my baby papa by then i was in uh, ss2 but we were not doing having any sexual intercourse mm -hmm. um the man who took care of me in school was from osu okay i met him in koforia by then i was going to suhum i was being sacked for school fees wow. so at the traffic light of koforia the man was passing with his pickup from asasewa and he saw me and god's grace he told me that's since an then, angel yes because i don't know so he saw me he asked me what am I, am I doing here and i explained everything to him i said i'm going to Suhum. he was going to use koforia to Accra, but he used Suhum instead so that he can drop me 
He saw my mom and he told us that I shouldn't go to my mom for school fees again. But now, if I need school fees. So since SS1 second term, so I completed SHS. Yeah, he did it. So when I completed, he said, well, I shouldn't be in Zoom. There's no job there. I should come to Accra. So he made me come to Accra. I've been in Accra all by myself. No relatives. Since 2008, I came wow. to Accra. Yeah. And so anytime I come for my school fees, that is when I see my baby papa ah. through a friend who also left Suhum because the parents are in. So anytime I go to see my friend, we'll go to a nightclub and my baby papa is there. Okay. So my friend knew my baby papa, so through her, we became friends. That's how you met but because of the man that I knew, and my baby papa too is a shy type, so he couldn't propose, but he told my friend. So sometimes when I come, he will give something to my friend to give it to mm -hmm. me to go to school. Sometimes I'll be in school and my friend will use my name to take money from my baby papa. <laughs> so when I come back for vacation or something, she'll tell me, please, or if he asks you, tell him. That yes. Yeah. So like that, that's how I completed SS. I came, the man who took care of me in school got me a place around Banfora. Paid for five years mm -hmm. rent. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Paid for five years rent. So I was working, he wanted me to work with him in his office. I said, no, you have a woman. By then he was not married, okay. but he had two children with a woman. And I was like, you have suffered with a woman. So I wouldn't want to, but still he was still taking care of me. So I started working. He took me to computer, okay. computing school, towers okay. around Papaye in Osu. In Osu. Okay. So I completed towers. I had my certificate, but still the knowledge. So I said, no, let me hustle some more. Mm -hmm. So I started working with Irish pop. Now it's Bloomba. But first it was Irish pop okay. around Sin Beans. Okay. Yeah. I still haven't been to Bloomba. Ah I whoever will believe that. Ah I don't, I have no idea where Bloomba is located. I've never met you outside. Really? That is why I'm telling yeah, yeah. you that this is my first time. I always no, see you see, on TV. It's me. I'm in my house. 247. If I'm not out working or if it's There's not working. There's a lot of programs. <laughs> I go. And since 2018, I became that I've seen her on TV. Yeah. I've it never seen This is my first time. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, no, I've met I, a lot of the TV house. presenters. Adi House, Adi House. And you're beautiful. Hey, People who there are sometimes, you see that they will look some young and young. You didn't come out for fresh air. But you are beautiful, house. not only on Adi TV. House. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> so, so, getting I, back to the conversation. Yeah. So, I worked with Irish Pap mm -hmm. and then I moved to uh, Max Max to okay. work there too. Okay. Then I worked with industrial area Melcom. Through that, I was oh, doing dancing wow. as well. You used to dance? Yes, I used to dance. My first music video. That explains why Ikra Pimpolo <laughs> likes dancing so much. People okay. don't understand. Okay. Okay. I used to be a dancer since, since childhood, since. Um, when I was a, a, a baby, I used to, I stayed with my grandma and my grandfather. Okay. So when there's a funeral like Wakey P, they would do me the color. Then to my, uh -huh, uh -huh. and then they will put a lot of powder on my face. I'll go to the wakey pin, I'll go and dance, uh, I'll and get money, money and I'll and come back. <laughs> yes, soon they know me. Even when I grew up as a uh, GSS primary, I go for Agome. We What's go, Agome? Agome is uh, people who like going for wakey pins. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, I'll, with my squad, if you go, I have my girls, and they know Dina, a lot of them they are there. They are also, they are also good making it right now. We are big girls now. We go, for, we go for funerals. We have our kayas and this white canvas. Mm -hmm. And then you see there was these long sleeves. Yes, here will be pink and here will be white. Sometimes here will be black and here will be white. It's, it's like swatter way. Oh, since you've seen it. Or maybe, maybe I've seen it. It's like swatter way. And then we will wear our paka. Because we are going to dance. Make girls, make girls. <laughs> but I mean, at what point during, you know, your hustling phase, you yeah. know, being at yeah. Max Max, yeah. Melcom, did yeah. Um, chief come come okay so that was i was still dancing and doing tv series and as i said my first music video was with uh, castro and asamoah and baby jets okay that was my first music video and then you have to go and watch <laughs> in the back oh, no, no. you see baby polo and you, you see me even with guru samba okay medium samba i was one of the doc uh, the nurses and then the dancers too and so far, Mijo, okay. we were standing on the container dancing for stone ball. Hey, hey, yes, see, yes, yes. I was a crazy dancer. I split, I somersault. That is why I was somersaulting when I met Cardi B. <laughs> wow. You know, they make sense. Like, you know, sometimes you need to understand someone's past to understand, you know, yeah. 
their yeah. future yeah. and even you know even the now yeah. you know yeah, yeah so at the important. age of um i was still working i was still here by then i wasn't with my man again okay. the man who took care of me so okay. i became serious with my baby papa okay. so when i became serious with him we started dating seriously and it worked i have to take him by then i was I was three months pregnant when I was performing for Becca Girls Talk. We were at Becca's dance dancers. Girls Talk. Oh. We started with Becca. I'm really impressed because yeah. you know that like I, I had no idea, you know. <laughs> or even even if you know you know that you've been around for a really long yeah. time, you don't know People exactly didn't know. how long. So I like that you are yeah. you know, you are saying all of yeah. these things. So it's yeah. not just as she came out of mm. nowhere, right? Mm. So that's mm. that's really good. Yeah. I was pregnant three months when I performed for Becca Girls Talk. So with that, it was secured, and he mm. made me know that he's going to take care of it. So after Chief came, after right, Chief came, we, we mentioned that you were twenty four mm -hmm. when you when took I came, yeah, right? Yeah. And the decision. So okay, did you decide to you know? Um, I was ready. Give birth I was ready to give promises, birth. Yeah, right, because right. I'm the only child. Okay. For my mom and my dad, my, okay. my dad, I don't have any okay. siblings. Okay. And my mom has been complaining. And I was of age, 24 dear. I'm not a teenager. Though I was well, young. But I'm still young. Yes. Though I was young, not well established. But so I took in, I was ready. And three months time, when I was pregnant, my place got bent. Ooh. Yes. All that I came to Accra to work for. The, it's like the man was sacking me from the house because if you, you are pregnant with someone else, then leave. Be going. Be going. And if you are not going, the place is bent. So are you going to leave there? Yeah. So the place got bent, opposite Banfora also. So I have to move in with my baby papa. I'm moving with him. When the pregnancy was going three, four, five, he was so nice. He was so nice. He was so happy. I'm saying I never had issue with him with the pregnancy, but it was the family. Right. And he wanted a baby boy. And when we go for scan, they don't see it. They say the way the baby is lying. You can't tell. We started from five months, six, seven. We were not seeing it. Eight, we were not seeing. So the mother said we should stop. Maybe the baby has said that we are so anxious to know. So we stopped. And from six, seven, I went through hell. The guy can go out. Two weeks, he will not come. So you'd say that he also changed. He changed because he didn't, didn't know. know whether you were given but that's sad because whether it's a boy or uh, a girl sis, it's still a human being i suffered at the point i was going for a scan he told me if i go for the scan and he said baby i should dash the people the scan i shouldn't bring a girl. it's a girl i should dash the scan i shouldn't bring the scan home so i was really frustrated i would t tell my my landlord they will call him when they call him no he was a mama mama ba. anything at all in case we are in the house pon up Bomb me, he will go and tell mommy, Oh, baby, yeah, well, I've been poor as an FLA. Yeah, that is it. He discussed everything with the mother, so that was my problem. Aside that, he was so sweet, he he gave me my attendant, he makes sure he taking keep good care of everything. You. But, but at, at which point did you know you realize that you had to be strong, you and know, for my and, seven yes, baby, and then push through, you mm -hmm. know even giving birth yeah. and after you know okay. finding your footing again okay. because you also mentioned that um your your place of residence got, got burnt bent, and yeah. everything coming out of that is difficult yeah. now coming out of that and being pregnant yeah. you know it's, it's also, not easy yes i used lot. only two dress for my pregnancy till i gave birth yes um my baby papa is round neck white with stretch black stretch and my mom gave me overall dress that is what i use all my friends knows what i'm talking about so I gave Why was birth. that? There was nobody. No, babe. You know, after that place got burnt, I was like, maybe this is how God wants it. Because I'm pregnant, I'm ready to keep it. And where I'm living, everything got even my money. Yes, because I had to renew the place. So the woman was not able because she was sick. So the money was in my wardrobe. It got burnt, so you could see halfway. And then, oh, yeah. No. So I I decided people came to dash me things because they knew I was pregnant yeah. in the area boutique people but I didn't touch any. I used to yes right to give birth. Okay. Okay. So now you've given birth. Yes. Um, After I gave birth, I thought we were going to do mm -hmm. marriage and other As promised. It didn't happen. They said the mother said they should watch me three months because I'm in the industry. Who knows the baby cry is the my baby. How do you know that the baby oh. is yours? Yes, this is what was going on. How Becca cry, 
tefete no like obi ni so i realized that they are not going to do it and so if that's the case then i'm going to my family house if you are ready to marry me because we are not married yet so i can't stay with you if you are ready you come for me i'm moving because i was pregnant and i have nowhere to yeah. go now nah, so if it's not back. working you have to move so now, i moved to my community home. right mm -hmm. after moving yeah. um community yeah. and building community because being that young as well you can't you know do it all on your own yeah. even those who are older and more yeah. mature yeah. um you know can't um take care of a child on their oh. own now here lies the case you were already in the industry yeah. first of all yeah. you were young yeah. secondly yeah. and then now you've had to be dealing with yeah. you know a lot of um baby daddy or relationship yeah. issues right yeah. how were you able to you know build community just to help you take good care of, of my child so what i did was my son was six months alex grace my former boss called me back i was working working with corporate guardian business magazine as a marketer blending with the music industry and the movie industry mm -hmm. i used to do a bra choco choco mm -hmm. show phone shop ijaku azonto sala with jackie api and co those mm -hmm. days mm -hmm. so my mom said i should give my son to him To her, to her so that when i work i buy food stuffs provisions everything they need to to them mm -hmm. so at, at the age of and i can say six months my baby was six months mm -hmm. and my mom took her him away to suhum so i was in accra here my former boss um mr oscar of corporate garden business helped me to get a, a new place okay. and then i started working again he called me so the working and blending with movies and things so anything i'll get i take it to my son and my mom then i became very act active and aggressive because now i'm all alone mm -hmm. i'm all alone and when i gave birth i i myself i'm not take already mm -hmm. i became lean so i'll work take the money to them work take the money to them work take the money to them i started working with uh industry area again okay i stopped the corporate because of the music industry it wasn't blending well for me for the corporate, corporate aspect so you see me working at this restaurant working at this restaurant because there you get tips and <laughs> the taste counts more than your even your pay mm -hmm. and then you know, i was beautiful i had the color you so <laughs> thank you so much so that was how i was coping so okay. much, 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 what 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 kept myself. you going right because now you have a child you yeah. mentioned that your mom said you should work and then you know yeah. money money fee yeah, money you fee. know uh, what kept you going how did your son inspire you you know to keep going because again there's this narrative of nobody wants to be a single mother no. right no. except now where people you know voluntarily say that i i just want to have my child and mind my business right yeah. out up for that yeah. ideally or what the society wants is for you to have a yeah. family yeah. system yeah. you know where there's the mother there's the father and the children right in the absence of the father in your case what was that grind so that your child will have a good life yeah. that you probably didn't have when you were um, growing yeah. up me myself my motive was the man that i will give birth with first is the one i will give birth to all my children mm -hmm. with i once told him when my my tummy was big that even if we are no more and i have to give birth again you go back i'll go him. back to him to give, have a baby because i have that i want that unity what was the reason you want your you children to be fathered by one man so okay. that there wouldn't be any issue between my children okay. so that was my thought then i mean i believe that i mean different things for different people like, again yeah. i always mm -hmm. say that i like to see things in yeah. two ways yeah there's a possibility that you still have it with different men yeah. not to say that that's what i'm pushing yeah. but should that happen for yeah. one reason or the other yeah. because sometimes fathers are absent because of irresponsibility yes. sometimes it's yeah. death sometimes yeah. it's divorce yeah. you know yeah. so if you know should you move on to somebody else yeah. there's a possibility yeah. of those other children yeah. and your children yeah. also being yeah. really yeah. So that, that time so i wasn't right. thinking right i was naive that, that then and my motive and so what kept me strong was you see i lived with my grandfather and he taught me a lot and I've, i kept it for myself since childhood mm -hmm. since stage four i was catching buying my own school uniform i go and uh, dance I'll because you're money. making money from yes, the dance right? from the yeah. dance i'll make the kofukube mate no makoto hey hi yes. girl oh so whom they, they know me wow I, at the point i play gala football matisco ladies they pay us yes 
Hey, yes, I have pictures. No, Adobe Polo has thousand <laughs> likes. <because laughs> I'm a great footballer. I play wow. football. I do a lot of things, and I get paid for it. Sometimes I'll make a you play. The government can do a palm wine tapa. So anytime they will put the uh, the the palm phone, the, then I'll go for the this thing or slam pie in your Then we will do it. Then I'll go and sell. Sometimes school they will say bring brew. I'll do it plenty and tie it and go and sell. So I know how to make money. I'm a hardworking lady. I give Just that, that you. thank you. Just that I don't have the push or anyone. I'm not from the um, the uh, rich home. My mom and my dad. But I'm not the poor. The rich home can come from you. Yeah, I'm not poor too because I'm a hardworking lady. Say it, say it, yeah. say it. So I started and then the little I get, I put some down. I did something when I came to Accra. My first pay, I said the ten percent. I will use it to buy something and go and give it to my grandfather okay. for him to bless me. So he blessed me. After from then, I get gifts. That is how I've been living to date. Nice. Yeah, I get even now. I'll be there. Someone will call me. Oh no, how much is your Sanskrit fees for this time? And then they will send it to me, and then I'll pay my son's fees. That's how I survive. God bless all of yeah. you who are, who are yeah. doing that. Yeah. But also, do you think that, mm -hmm. you know, being in the limelight, mm -hmm. you know, one way or the other has helped has, me, has helped has you helped me also a lot. In, in a lot. Because since 2018 that I became loud, uh, I've never bought anything. See, I started since 2009. Mm -hmm. I started this industry thing, but when you go, they'll give you 20 cities for transportation. <laughs> but since I became loud, I don't buy hair. Since 2018, I've never bought dress, shoes, nothing. Wow. Even my son, I don't buy. Someone will come from UK, I have something for your son. Um, we have this blogger, those cost celebrity. She mm -hmm. used to sponsor me and my son very well, not hair alone. A lot of people behind closed doors, they don't want me to mention their name. But I always say thanks to them. Since day one. God bless them. Yeah, since day one, I don't buy. So this is how far the Lord has yeah, you. in everything there's a positive side and negative, negative side. side. Yeah, but um, you you also started selling honey, honey, you know, honey along yeah. the line. Yeah. When you say that you are hardworking, yeah. I can see that um, you 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 have the grind, like yes, the grinding please. spirit, yes, the hustler please. spirit. Yeah. But before we get to you know the honey and the other businesses business, and yeah. juggling that yeah. with motherhood and being present for your son and yeah. being in his life, yes, you please. know, let's move out. Okay. And then we continue the conversation. Stay with us. Oh my love, yeah. Uh huh. Ghana, Cambia, Sun Boy, Africa. Great Jamil. Let me tell you the story. I like it. I like the views. Wow. And the sea, how is it that looking at it from here, the sea looks blue, but you get close and not, not, not. <laughs> I always talk about it. You see, you you are liking the view this this daytime. Wait till you get here midnight. At night, I can tell. At night, you wouldn't want to leave here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a great view. Very view. But anyway. Talking about views, right? What's your view on, you know, society um, applauding, um, you know, Mother's now? Okay. Greatly. I mean, for, for a very long time, they say that Mother's Day is a big deal, you know, and fathers are not applauded mm. as much as, as Mother's, mother's Day. Like mother's Day is a big deal because, first of all, we, the women, we carry the seed. We go through hell in pain your husband will not sleep at home whilst you are feeling pain with the pregnancy. Pregnancy, some people get pregnant, they can't even walk at all. Yes, even to go and bath is a problem. Pregnancy makes people go through a lot. And when you are pregnant, imagine you're having issues with the man who puts that thing in your, hey, not that thing, because it's the very baby. precious. The, the baby. baby in your abdomen and your conscious system. In your womb. Follow <laughs> 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 your conscious system. <laughs> eh? in your then womb. The, and you'll be having the, the trauma, the um, enthusiasm. The English is not going to let me speak my I'll English. <laughs> and you'll go and chimp. Uh, and the pain. You go into labor. Into labor. Uh -huh. That pain alone. That me, mine was thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. But people go hours. Uh, hours. So that is why. But my son, I always said that he didn't let me suffer at all. 
when I got pregnant, the pain, it was just 30 minutes, sharp pain, serious one, and I gave birth with no cuts. Most women go through cuts before, but me, no cuts, everything. He came smoothly. That is why I'm killing myself with or with no man. I will work hard and take care of myself because I didn't get better, uh, uh, not say, yeah, show me yeah, but I didn't get a lot of education background, goodly, you know, um, a lot of things, the exposure. So what I didn't get, you uh, to him. child, I want to give it all to my son. So that them. means that you are, all you're saying is, is yeah. right that yeah. the world or society We, we celebrate women. women. Right. Women. A woman will carry baby at night and fetching water. I was pregnant, nine months gone, fetching water, carrying the kufo gallon. I have to, what because I wash the yellow gallon. Okay, okay. Hey, mm. it's called kufo gallon. Yeah, yeah. Ah, and I, okay. I, I, I go to the pipe. My husband, or, and not my, we were not married there, but my baby daddy will go to shop because he was having boutique. But you still knows my baby daddy because that's where he used to buy his things. So he will be at work and I'm fetching water because I'll wash our things and my baby. Yes, me, I said, I don't want house help. I don't want anything. Even if he shall lie, if I marry my husband, we are not going for house help. Unless hey. maybe my mom. No. Serious. Me, I'm a jealous person. Wow. Yeah, so my, if my mommy is coming to help, fine. My mommy is a jovial person and free person. If my my husband to be to mother is coming fine but to go for a house of not even my lie, lie, cousins lie. no <laughs> i won't okay. do, do that now that now that we've we've, we've touched on you know family mm. and all of that chief mm. will be joining us you know really really soon yeah. but before chief joins us right um i mentioned that we are going to be talking about your honey and you you had a very unusual way of marketing you know the honey yeah. on social media and even selling in person yeah. and then we see you you know do everything Thing that you have to do yeah, to, make, to sure make sure that you sell yeah. when did the honey business come in okay so i started doing the honey 2019 early 2019 somewhere january so um i became polo 2018 so a friend of mine from tamale was like she is rukaya tina she said polo now that you are celebrating why don't you start a business and it's going to sell because you have the influence. If you're able to do ad advert for skincare products, for them to get more brands, why not also create something more for clients. yourself? So she discussed honey with me. I said, well, what is the use of honey? People don't even know the, the use of honey. Which celebrity have you seen selling honey? How can I go around selling honey? I said, no, you don't know. Then she gave me some benefits of honey. It's good for kids when they eat their brain. It's good for our skin, depending how you use it. And if you buy sexy polopia honey, I'll show you how to use it. Okay. And your skin will be, you see my skin glittering, glittering. I'm a mother, I'm a mother, but yeah. I'm still, if I tell you my age, you won't believe it. Like, I'm glittering, glittering, you know? <laughs> the English is not coming see, out. That's, <laughs> that's polo English, glittering. <laughs> glittering. We'll take it, we'll take whatever mm, she gives us. You know, so I, she told me like six months I, I was giving a third because who am I going to, where am I going to sell it? So I started and I started selling it myself. I deliver it myself and by then I was twerking. My bum bum is small but so soft. So when I twerk, it bounces. It's twerkable. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that was the strategy I picked. So when I started doing the promo on my page, I said, if you buy sexy polo up your honey, I'm going to hug you and twerk for you. So my first customer was Sister Mabel then, and she did a great job for did me. Did you twerk for her too? Oh no, for her I didn't twerk because she was a lady. Ah, so my so the twerking is for just men. Men. So wow. if you are, so the men were, if you go on my business, sexy polo up you see the men buying. And at first I used to twerk. You see, I polo. Oh no 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 now 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 my son is of age now so I have to I'm I'm raising a king I'm raising I like that. a leader and um so I don't en engage some things around me I don't relate some things around me I pick my friends my friends don't pick me I pick people I want them to pick around stay around me it's because of your son some, as well. because of my son right. I want him to grow up to come out with his own way. I don't want to regret he would say that it's my mom who made me see that I saw this, my mom was doing this. That is why I even converted to Islam. Because okay. the, the dad 
is Muslim. Okay. So helping him, I have to put myself in his shoe, go to mocks with him. And if you are not Muslim, how are you going to go to the We'll talk about the you know conversion mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. Islam really mm -hmm. soon, and then mm -hmm. also why choosing the name Haniya, mm -hmm. which is a really nice. Yes, yeah, so thank you right? so much. It's really nice. But I'll get to talking about okay. that really soon. Before we we get into you know the name conversation and mm -hmm. all of that, right? Would you say that the marketing strategy you chose or you opted for, though? very unconventional yeah, yeah, right. right would you yeah. say that helped you, you know, it really uh, helped me it really helped me because let's say most of the celebrities and the artists are out there but people don't really 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 know them they are doing great job marvelous unique classy jobs that they need to be recognized the world needs to know them but they are not sometimes i say that negativity sometimes sells if it doesn't sell, Nicki Minaj will not pick a fight with my Cardi B. You know, it sells, but you have to know how to go about it. Me, because I was desperate, I needed money to take care of my son and my mom because I'm the only child. I take care of my son, my mom, my dad, and some of family members. And even on the streets, I have a foundation, Polo's foundation. So I wanted, to, and I don't have any fun. I use myself, my money. The little I get from promotion and advertising. So I was showing my skin to sell skincare products. It wasn't the best. Mine, I went so hard that you can see some of my property, my, you know. It didn't help. You know how it landed me. But it pushed me out there for Kadibi to come and twerk with me. I'm wow wow. Sometimes if you go outside, if you Google my name, I'm on Google. <laughs> You know, if you go, go, I'm there, my face, everything about me will come. So it has really pushed me. Okay. When I was quiet since 2009 to 2007, 20, uh, 2017, nobody knew me. Mm -hmm. So when I became loud and I started posting the works I've done, people say, ah, oh, so that was you. Ah, you were, they didn't know me. Even when I became on the land line, they was like, ah, now get with Ophi. Even some of the celebrities. That's why I made reference. Yeah, now we're Ophi, and as you said, about it loud. Yeah, you need to fix Ophi, if I were to take you over. Right. Yeah, I were to take Now that yeah. you said that it was, it has benefited you, mm -hmm. you know, um, you've been able to take care of your son and all of I that. I don't buy anything sweet, sweet. But now things have changed mm -hmm. for you, right? Pa, pa, pa. One of the things that have changed for you is your name. Yeah. Okay. You already mentioned that your son's dad is Muslim. You mm -hmm. want to help your son, you know, groom him in, in the Islamic way and mm -hmm. all of that. But moving forward, right, what other strategies do you think will work, you know, for your selling um, your honey okay. or even other products that you come up with in the future? Okay. So now I've taken a new strategy. Um, the name is there. People love and believe in anything I sell out there. I'm able to sell people's products for them. Why not mine? I just have to be legit. I just have to bring out the organic, natural stuff. Because Polo, I'm a superstar. Everybody knows me. I can't run away. So if I put up something there that is going to be harmful to human beings. My honey, since 2019 now, I'm still selling. It goes abroad. I everywhere. want to try that. I'll let you try. I, I have one in the that. car. You try. Oh, you do? Yeah, you okay. try. Okay. We'll you... be trying. We'll be trying that. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, um, I mentioned that we'll have Chief join us. So hopefully soon Chief will be, be joining us. I just want to ask him, you know, a thing or two, right? Mm -hmm. What's the was the best thing or was the favorite he has been the thing sweetest son, about you know? about he being your son you he know? has been the sweetest we'll, son we'll speak on he that. never complains when i give him one with pepper he will eat sometimes from after when he close from school he will come home there's no food he wait till i cook sometimes we cook around 8 pm and this boy will be patient what's 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 the favorite thing for you or what's the best thing you know in changing your name what's the best thing that has happened to you do you think that's the best decision that you've ever made you know, changing my life name. and then also becoming muslim walking in that because from where i stand literally i can see that you know since you became muslim we've seen that your dressing has changed you know we don't we no longer see you dancing you know out there and all of that right but that's my opinion okay what has it been for you internally and then on the outward okay so since i teamed down and i changed my religion and be became Islam muslim now that's opened a lot of doors for me now I'm, not, I'm the face of Villa de Tuga Apartments. Okay. Yes, at first, brands like this wouldn't come to me because of how I was 
exposing myself, being loud, talking about everyone's issue. It was too much. So bra corporate brands like this wouldn't come. It's, it's, it's some of the, you know, skincare because I was showing my skin that way coming. But now I have corporate brands. I have Villa de Tuga apartments that I'm influencing and I'm the face. And then I have Afro-Arab travel and, uh, and tours that I'm also a brand for it. And a lot. Cartes, recently I went to Saudi free i didn't pay anything my traveling in my hotel all thanks to afro arab and moon touch traveling tour and now i have the big men around me they are supporting me the muslim world and then the christians world now it's like i'm team and you know no reasonable person will come close to someone who behave like a mad person out there oh is that to say that before you yeah you that's like I, a, a mad person. person because i was i i needed to be mad to take care of my son the aggression yes because if i should stand by the roadside begging for food for my son people will laugh at me so i took i went the hard way and the hard way i didn't steal the hard way i didn't kill the hard way i didn't fraud i'm not saying it's bad or good how anyone hustling is their own way mm. but i was being allowed to sell people's products for them to get money to feed my son because i'm a single parent yeah you mentioned the perks of motherhood being the fact that you know um you mentioned the perks of motherhood being that you've been able to probably take care of your child you've hustled your way through um people have been able to give you you know a lot of stuff you know you've yeah. not bought things since maybe 2018 and yeah. all of that right yeah. but what would you say to someone who has set out and is a single mother and is young was that one advice that you give to them this is what i would tell any single mother single parenting out there never give up work hard to bring out to give the best that you can to your child don't give up because the father is not there you throw the child away you are both pregnancy because the father is no you don't know what you are bringing up you will not know some children will come out and they will give you blessing i'm telling you since my son came he has been a blessing to me and i always say no regret work hard talk to allah this life even if you don't have a child without allah without god we are nothing god said call on me and i'll come if you don't invite god in anything he will not come though he knows you need it but he will not come because you've not invited him set a table Put two chairs, sit on one. And literally invite him, eh? And tomorrow by this time, you'll be proud of having that child with no father. And the father will wish he was there for the child. Hey, this yeah. one is like, Polo wants to throw shots. Yeah. <laughs> wants to throw shots. Oh yeah, then, because my but, baby father wished he was there when he wasn't there. It's rather he, unfortunate. Yeah. And then I, what I yeah. want to say to you is, thank you for being the kind of mother that you are, for pushing, for having, you know, chief on your mind throughout your grind and for taking um, the best care you can take um, of him, right? Mm. And providing for him. Yeah. God bless you. Um. Allah bless you um, and yes um guys chief will definitely join us in fact i think that um in a few minutes we'll have that conversation uh, with chief it. and then um we'll be we'll be done but yes it's still the mother's day edition speaking to polo on the highs and then also you know going through the road as a is mother nice. I'll finish and it. motherhood <laughs> and all of that i'm also going to finish my drink but yes um polo cheers cheers Cheers, guys. I can't always rely on your tenderness. You've shown me. Hey, mama. Here you go. Oh! 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 Oh!
Chichi, so thank you for making me a mother. <laughs> you see, you see, because of you, I'm getting this. <laughs> so this is just something small. This from, was small. From Music TV. See, big rice. I mean, well. Hey, everything there inside. It, it, it's from us to her. And just to, <laughs> to, to thank her for being the mother she <laughs> is. And <laughs> also <laughs> to say that you are appreciated. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day to all mothers out there who have put their black belt work together to grooming and the whole in us and, and building us up. <laughs> Very typical of the Jamin Polo. But yes, thanks to you mothers and the fathers as well. We can tug you along. But today is a Mother's Day. So yeah, we are all for the mothers. Happy Mother's Day! Mother's Happy Day. Mother's Day! Kiss kiss! Wow! wow. <laughs>
Well, I mean, I'm not sure. Let me just put it that way. That's <laughs> crazy. And, and, and happy Mother's Day. I mean, that's why we are here, here in the spirit of, of Mother's Day. Um, I'm excited that we are having this conversation with you, especially sometime in August last year. I mean, for the entire world, just those who didn't know who are not in your personal space, you saw you put up, you know, um, pictures of your beautiful pregnant self and all of that. Now, a few months down the line, how has our work been It's been crazy. It's been very crazy for some. When I got to know or found out that I was pregnant up until now, that I was sitting here, my life has taken a turn for I can well wait, you know. Uh -huh. Um not this I appreciate mothers now more than ever. Uh -huh. Especially mothers that put their all into catering for their kids and rigging them up. It's one of the most craziest jobs on the planet. So right. I know for twin mothers they can understand why I stand. I was just going to say that. Oh my God, Lynn. For those, <laughs> for those who just have, uh, you know, what we I hear mean, tales of them, you know, always saying that you know it's not easy. But yeah, as they say, you are a twin mom. So it's a double the nose of everything. Wish two sets of twins for you. So please, it, because please, when you talk about it, please, it's not the same I want it. When you are into it. Yeah, feeling yeah. I have had the first night, it's almost a year. <laughs> my sleeping pattern has changed. Of course, I'm obsessed with my kids. I cannot take my eyes with them. And Wait, I mean, we can tell from your, your socials. <laughs> <laughs> and you see, talking about socials, it's so wonderful the way I have chosen to keep them private. Mm -hmm. So far, I'm not sure that is. Yeah, because yeah. all your pictures, you know, show them yes. either their hair or their yes. side profiles or. Yes. I'm yeah. hoping that when they are a little grown and um, with parents are um, like we, we both decide to show them mm -hmm. when the time comes they become less than years can lines for that because you know they may not be so supportive of this whole pregnancy yeah. journey of mine so sometimes I feel like should I just share this more for some purpose with them but I don't like the privacy. I'm enjoying it in a way. Yeah. They are good, they are milestones, they are crawling, almost walking. Oh, they are almost yes. Oh, I was almost a year, so yeah. But they stay with mama. Oh. That's why it's so steep. Oh, yeah. yeah. I can only imagine, I literally have goosebumps. Okay, so you have a vision, right? Mm -hmm. of you know, you being with them or raising them for the first one and a half years. Mm -hmm. That said, you know that, you, I mean, we know that you have a really good relationship with your mom from what we see, right? With how good the relationship is with your mom, what are some of, you know, the takes from that relationship that you're going to apply to, you know, um, you and your children first, now that they are young, and then later when they grow up, the intentionality to grow them and then to also maintain that bond. Well, I like that you mentioned the intentionality. And if, let me correct you here. Mm -hmm. I intend to take care of them and to cater for them, bring them up beyond a year and a half. No, I'm saying, I mean, before I'm you going go back the to way. work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And maybe in yeah, two yeah. years, you never know. Okay. And these days, you can work from home. So, you yeah, know, yeah. since COVID has taught us that we can work efficiently <laughs> from, from home, home yeah. anything is possible. And probably run my own show, mm -hmm. uh, which will just, you know, give me flexibility. Easy, yeah. Yes. Okay. My mom is such a wonderful woman. For everybody who knows her, she's quite a popular figure in Tema, mm -hmm. where I was born, raised, and I grew up. Mm -hmm. Had my basic education and all of that. And um, I'm a single child, um, to my mom especially. My mom is one of the strongest women in Tema that everybody knows. In mm -hmm. fact, most of the associations that she's a part of, you see that the founder, the president, or voted for, for a leadership role. So right. first of all, that is one thing that I, um, I think I got from her, and it's natural. We are both born leaders, mm -hmm. so everywhere I go, I have that grace upon me, and I hope my children will naturally have that, or even grow up learning to emulate, that. to emulate it. You know, um, my mom is resilient. My mom is hardworking. She's a go getter. And most importantly, she's such a positive figure. She's always optimistic, mm. always full of laughter, making jokes, cracking jokes around. Whenever she enters a room, you would know her presence is around. You mm -hmm. feel it in every way. And I'm just a replica of that. 
but in my own special way. Okay. And I see that in my children. I can already. Yeah, I can tell That's you for nice. a fact that my children are happy kids. Mm -hmm. There's always smiles on their faces, especially my little girl. Mm -hmm. She's such a sweetheart. My boy is a mother's boy. You know, like they say boys click to their mothers and more, girls, girls to their, their dad. Yeah. And I watched this happen naturally. Because I was thinking, oh, maybe it's just hearsay, yes, or maybe, you know, people just run around with it. But mm -hmm. it's happening naturally. So for my boy and I, we have quite a special bond. I see my girl going to be my best friend. Mm -hmm. And my mom is my best friend. I can tell her every and anything. Yeah. I've always made jokes that, oh, maybe today if my husband starts um, decides to stop um, having intimacy with me, my mom is the one I'm going to talk to her about first. first. Yeah. That intent, you know, that intimate. So I see that in my kids. We have a very natural bond growing. Um, they are full of life most importantly and i think with that attitude when they grow up in that way they'll take life easy and then everything else will be added on to them positively mm. yeah that's nice i like that you are already you know identifying their um character yes. and all of that in it's fact so from um biologically from about four or five months you start identifying the personalities of your children okay yes you know even those with tempers you can um, you can identify you can that. Right from when they are that little. What I would even like to say is also bef because you are an entertainer, and then because you know Paititia is also an entertainer. Yeah. Do you envision now that you said that you know you can identify their personalities, yeah. characters, and all of that? Do you envision any of them getting into entertainment, or is it early days yet? My girl loves to dance a lot. Hey. I have several videos of her dancing non-stop when she hears I'm sure music. we all can't wait for when you are ready to put out all of the I can't videos. Wait to, I can't to wait to. Yeah. Honestly, I can't wait to. And then my boy too. Um, but right now, I don't know what they are going to grow up to be. They may mm -hmm. just be lovers of music and, you know, loving, li liking to dance or... Mm -hmm be natural good dancers but whatever they choose to grow up to be i would be a hundred percent supportive and i'm sure their dad would also be mm -hmm. so far as it's good we are going to support it so yeah mm -hmm. yeah that's nice um I, I also believe that strongly you should let children be you know yeah. whatever whoever yeah. they want to feel be. free explore yeah. and then find yeah. themselves you yeah. know that's yeah. the only way they would truly you know change their passion and then mm -hmm. find purpose in doing that as mm -hmm. well so now let's talk about prioritatia right i already you know asked you about how the feeling um is or was like for you when you, you you realize that you were pregnant or even you know raising them you know in their first few months but for from from your point of view looking at your husband um also you know bring them up take care of them because there was a video i saw on your page where he was trying to fit a beanie on at his head yes. and it was almost you know covering the eye and all of that I, I i i i just thought that it was really nice you know because also they were really little yes. you know at the time mm -hmm. but yes please take us into prior tater's emotions well right now um i would say he's more of a provider mm. he's taking the provider responsibility very seriously he makes sure that they are lacking nothing and so i see our home as divided responsibilities mm -hmm. whilst i take physical care of them their needs he's always on top of the game making sure that their food is never running out right. their diapers everything and as much as this may sound little it's intensive when it comes to kids yeah. you know you have to always make sure that everything is always available at every particular point in time mm -hmm. and it's not even about how much money you have but i mean it's just crazy so we are working together really well i adore my husband i call him close to perfection for me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah so well 15 years together it's, it's not you know it's not being said yeah it's, it's not, not being it's not being we put it in the it's word <laughs> it's, it actually abuse. is yes mm. it actually is you know when so. you find someone and you figure out the value of the person mm -hmm. and how much the person means to you you do everything to keep that person and to maintain the relationship you have with that person. Mm -hmm. And it takes two people. So if you value yourself 
and my husband and i one thing that i think we can never take away from our relationship is respect my husband right. respects me so much and I I, 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 I I worship the very grounds he walks on. Mm -hmm. I respect him a lot. So I think that that basis in a relationship works. That's a key we should take away to yeah. unlock some doors, <laughs> please. And we will do that definitely. But also, um, Sally, you, you are into, you know, um, influencing and content creation. You've even mentioned that, you know, should you even take time beyond the one and a half mm -hmm. stipulated years for yourself mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. just stay home and work from home, that that will be good for you. And mm -hmm. even now, you are also, you know, engaged in a lot of other things yeah. that are helping you. You you have a business, mm -hmm. right? That I know. Um, how is it like juggling a business? and being a twin mom and then you know being a content creator and an influencer it's crazy i'm not able to be a hundred percent involved in running the business and um i'm that type of ceo who wants to be present in everything you know every department i have to be upfront and it's not working like that for me i don't have time um, in fact i wake up some days and i have to go to bed around 1 a.m that is when i'm oh. having dinner or that is oh. when i'm going to bed sometimes communication even with business is mostly on your phones but mm -hmm. out of 24 hours i probably would have checked my phone about three hours out of the 24 hours mm -hmm. i just do not have time so it's affecting my business as well i won't lie it's affecting it so um now that they are crawling and almost walking mm -hmm. it's a shift it's become a, a little lighter the load now mm -hmm. so maybe in a couple of months a few months i may be able to try and put things together and be back on the road okay but i intend to launch a few products here and there with the kids and so we are creating oh. good things on the way out yeah. okay mm -hmm. now people do mention that you know having twins is a blessing right just take us into just on the surface right not you know anything deep i understand how extremely private of a person you are but on the surface right mm -hmm. what are some of the blessings you know that um, um, and Chupi have brought to you children in general are a blessing but you know people believe that twins are double of that well, to start with you get a lot of gifts coming your way mm -hmm. a lot of people are gifting you things people who are hopeful mothers, mm -hmm. people who just love the sight of twins, people who just love to know that you have twins. It gives you a lot of things, including money. I remember when we had them in the States, um, we had the pre crystalline and people flew in from all over, different states, Massachusetts, oh. all over America, just to come and see the twins. And half of the people who came were people that we did not even know. Wow. So that is how much people love to, you know, be involved when it comes to twins. So um for now there are certain doors that have opened for my husband and i which is just incredible mm -hmm. and i wouldn't know if i should even attribute it to the fact that we have twins maybe it's too quick or truly what they say is what it is right. that twins is a blessing and i'm hoping that in the years to come we will see more so right now just even having two people as companions in your life mm -hmm. when you look to the left the smiles when you look to the right that is even a blessing on its own yeah mm -hmm. okay that's 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 really good to know but also what i would want to find out from you right is you know the elation being the the first um mother's day that you are going to be celebrating right um in how you put to yourself celebrating <laughs> all pun intended guys um you know last year i'm sure last year by this time you you were you know pregnant and all of that but you know the the actuality right it is here now you know um you're a mother you have you know your two beautiful bundles with you how is the feeling like and what are your plans for this mother's day wait hold on <laughs> <laughs> i didn't see that coming listen i have waited for this bundle of joys for eight good years eight good years i've been through so much 
and this is my first Mother's Day, and I'm celebrating too. Yeah. God decides to bless me with a boy and a girl. They say that when God shows up, He shows up in grand style, Lenny, and He did that. That's for an you. understatement. Yeah. If there's anything else beyond that statement, it's for me. <laughs> Trust me, the Lord has done too wonderful. I mean, the adjectives are just not flowing. This is my first Mother's Day, and it's so surreal. Just about a few weeks ago is when they started mentioning mama, 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 and my heart just leaves for so like it's the joy is intense mm -hmm. when they call you mama, mama, and it's wonderful because you don't even teach them to call you mama or yeah. dada. But how does just that happen? happen? You know, just I've happens. always wondered how, some way, somehow, children start growing and then all of a sudden they, they start, start talking. They the know thing. that this is mama yes. and this yes. is dada. It's just amazing. It's nature. Nature is beautiful. It's wonderful. We can never not understand. So, um, I'm going to be home with my kids, mm -hmm. having a quiet one as always, pumping them with lots of love singing to them, reading to them, hoping they understand that today is a special day based on my mood. Mm -hmm. And then that's just it. Quiet, you know, yeah, kind quiet. of subtle, yes. a subtle, but very but I'm significant. Open to, I'm open to gifts from you, Lenny, to celebrate oh, my friend. Oh, and Casa, <laughs> and Casa Kra, the gifts will come. Yeah. Okay, this is the music, trust us. The gifts, what? Yeah, it will yeah, come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> the gift will definitely come. You know, your your excitement when you're talking about the children is really, really contagious, right? Very palpable. What would you say to mothers in waiting, you know, mothers who are expectant, mothers who are hopeful? First of all, it's not an easy job. You need to be prepared mentally, physically, and emotionally. I've been through a lot, even the few months after I had them. I can't even say that I've been through some depressed state mm. because you lose it, you know. Um, whatever you believe in, hold on so strongly to it. I believe in God. I'm a born Christian and I believe in my religion so much. From day one, through everything I've been through, I believe that it's only God that would do it for me and he did it. So if you're a hopeful mother out there, I would say that don't lose hope, but still live your life. Okay. I don't think a lot of people be, will believe what I've gone through when I start telling my true story of mm -hmm. my eight years journey, mm -hmm. because I've always lived my life happily on social media. You will break and you will lose yourself if you let it engulf you. Just be happy and at the right time it will come. And also it's not everybody who is born to be a mother that I understand as well. But if it will happen for you, it will happen for you. Right. So celebrate life whilst you have it because you never know tomorrow. Celebrate yes. life. Yes, and once I wish you all mothers out there a happy birthday, especially first happy mothers. mother's day. Happy Mother's Day, sorry. <laughs> especially first mothers like myself. Uh -huh, this is uh -huh. very special for us. So sending you a lot of love and strength because we need it. <laughs> love and yeah. strength from mm -hmm. Sally to you all but one thing i'd also want to say to you is you know congratulations um um for you know welcoming you, uh, the 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 twins right and god in his infinite wisdom decided to give you a girl and a boy which we love so much but i said to you that this is three music we wouldn't come here being mother's day and then leave you you oh know empty-handed so yes definitely we have so this for you. True. <laughs> <laughs> we have this for you. Maybe you you saw it, you know, with a third eye. Oh my but goodness. yes, this is just to wish you a happy Mother's Day from Three Music TV. But quite the, heavy. Pack, pack. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The third eye may just come. <laughs> <in the same hour. laughs> oh my goodness! Yes, this Three is music. for this you. This is really special, and this is my first Mother's Day gift. So oh, yay! Yay! Yes, excited. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You're making my Mother's Day special. Thank you. You're I happy. can see it all. everything I need. Rice. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> now, as a mother, I don't need shoes. I don't need clothes. Mm -hmm. This rice is okay for me because I need a lot of breast milk. Mm -hmm. Hey, Milo, we we'll try it. We'll try. <laughs> hey, everything is here. Oreo. Okay, I can cook for my kids. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. 
they have some two teeth they can use to chew the biscuits in there mm-hmm. this is really nice thank you for the packet you're really welcome you're welcome i'm glad that you like it so we are going to just put this right here and then <laughs> it, doesn't fall. it won't fall hey <laughs> calm down it won't fall at all but i i appreciate that you've been able to you know give us a bit of your time and to you as well chelsea thank you so much i can understand how you know this is but yes guys listen she's getting ready right we'll show you you know the after and all of that but the conversation mm-hmm. is done just get on to Sally's social you heard her say that she has a very supportive fan base mm-hmm. right so just get on there and drop you know a lot of positive you know um comments for her just you know um support her through the journey of being a twin mom now i already mentioned that when god shows up he shows up in grand style and Sally is an example well, let that be a celebration can i hear hooray uh, hooray happy mother's day if you are watching us on tv now or maybe on socials later but yes we love our mothers so all mothers out there or mother figures out there this is just to say thank you so much for all you do and god bless you we love you Mwah. Mwah. Mwah.